Day one, press interlocking breaths, number two, starting out cutting, lots of cutting, trying to get the plasma cutter to work right. Emmanuel's over here. Just cut that, about ready to drill that, here in Sekuta, the Gambia. It's past three o'clock. I'm still not quite done cutting these things out. Lots of problems with the plasma cutter. Over here, working on the pipes. That's going a little better. And inside, Emmanuel's still trying to cut this piece here. Got one hole. Well, it seems like uh, the sound of my phone's not doing so well. But here you can see Manuel and Zacharias going at it. And my small amount of cutting that I've done there. I'm wearing out some grinding discs, cutting discs. And I'm pointing to something here. Maybe I'm going to cut. There's Emmanuel doing um, some cutting, obviously with the big grinder. Lining up um, the main frame of the second press there, getting ready to weld it or knock it into place before welding finally. Swedish member of the team here. This will be the mechanism for the, the handle. So we're going to attach the handle on here. This will get attached to the press. Something like that. Over here, Emmanuel's working on the press. Making the handle here. Well, we're having to try to make a aluminum mold, so we're, we're making the block exactly how we want it. And then this will go into this for them to cast an aluminum mold for the bottom of the press. So the idea is they cast aluminum or aluminum if you're English in here and uh, then we'll take that mold and put it upside down in the bottom of the press cavity. Uh, we make this piece like this open. We'll put the arms on once we figure out the height over here. Emmanuel's working on the piston. So well to that. Scheming about a hinge. See that guy over there? He's Swiss. They're the ones that make watches. So we're working here with Swiss precision. Now you notice it's a little tight there, so you gotta kind of grind a little bit off. And this folks. How you do hinges Swiss style. Then that's how you weld Swiss style too, no eye protection. Trying to line up the pipes correctly. And even a new tool, um, we've been using one like this for cutting and working pretty good. So I convinced the group that I'm going to help out with the press to get, buy me one. I don't know if real Boshes are made in China, but it's not the worst fake I've ever seen. Let me set, set this so the block 
exactly 10 centimeters. Line this up straight up. And now we're going to weld the arms on. And open there. Hinges and process over there. And kind of trying to wrap up both at the same time. That opener will go on there and then we're getting closer to be done. Putting the hopper tray on. And uh, the little things here, we cut this. Weld this in here and cut a groove out of it for the hopper tray to get fixed on there. Put some stops on the back here. Our nice little ram's horns for putting the cover up and uh, these bearings so that it rides quite close to those. Mostly done. Just want to check how they work. Testing out, trying to find how consistent the blocks we're making. <laughs> Oops, we shouldn't have had that in the video. That piece down there broke off. I forgot to weld it on. Uh huh. This, you have to put that thing back on. <laughs> Leaving just the inserts left to do. Um, it turns out we had to use a plasma cutter and a lot of grinding and um, put it together in uh, the new workshop down in Tanji. Putting some chamfered edges on the block and a groove down the middle to keep it from rocking. And on the top plate, putting those donuts and also a chamfered edge. Fit it well into the press and there's a result. Some nice looking Lego blocks.